This used to be Carol Wallace's gown that I inherited a few years ago, and it was done in the late 40s by, I believe, either Lana Turner or Hedy Lamar's dress designers for MGM. And I uh, had it appraised at eBay. I said, oh, Carol, if you knew how much this is worth, you would have taken this to heaven with you, honey. <laughs> but unfortunately, we, can, we are born naked and we go naked, so we better enjoy these things now because we can't take anything with us. Anyway, this is so heavy. It takes a guy to wear this costume. I don't think a real woman would make it. This feels like a parachute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, I think I have my, my uh, Spanish song to do. From uh, Spain. There were so many tourists that came to Finocchio from Puerto Rico and so on. That uh, one song I do tonight called La Vienne de la Macarena means the Virgin of the Macarena from Spain. Carol Wallace used to tease me because once in a while a Latino in the other would say, David, sing La Macarena, not La Macarena that they play in the 90s, that's something else. <laughs> so Carol Wallace would say, David, you brought your friends from Mission Street. Well, Mission Street used to be the Latino neighborhood in San Francisco. I said, no, honey, I don't have any friends from Mission Street. These are people who know about me here. They want me to sing La Vienne La Macarena. So that was an inside joke. You and your friends from Mission Street. But anyway, I did play the Cuban club on Mission Street several times, and the Cubans there were marvelous because they remember all the songs I did. But at Finocchio, Mr. Finocchio said, you better sing some Latin song because we have people from uh, Puerto Rico, South America, and they, some of them don't speak Spanish, I mean English. So, but the Americans who were around the 40s and 50s, they, they were allowed Latino songs with Javier Cougar and so on. So I said to them, although you don't understand what I'm singing, it's such a pretty melody, just bear with me. So they liked it. Uh, anytime you're ready, maestro. Yeah. This will last me forever. I put it in my rose garden. Yeah. Oh, more! Oh my! How how lovely! Oh my goodness! Oh, you can make it a lot of it. I used to say this at the South Pacific medley. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out. Way. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair and send him on his way. Very mitigator now. Brainer, 
where are the little kids? My French kids. This one, all the fluffy cats, it was freezing. But, and then, of course, this is interesting for the cameras, for the archival. Don't put that in the morgue because the newspaper morgue is when people go to see all newspapers to read about dead things. This had better play the Castro Theater, some theater in San Francisco, so people can get an idea. Anyway, the Gray Line tours, among other tours, they would say to the tourists, when you are in San Francisco, make sure you see two things. First, the Golden Gate Bridge. And secondly, the boys at Finocchio's. That's quite a, an applause for Mr. and Mrs. Finocchio for 63 years to have that kind of a motto. So now, I say to myself, to all my spirits, well, the Golden Gate Bridge is there so far, but Finocchio's is closed and it's now a lawyer's office. Can you imagine that? <laughs> they told the stages at lawyer's office. Adam, you get a kick of that. I should go, go down to be closer to you. I hate to be so impersonal up on the stage. Let me get close to you. That's what Carl Wallace to say. Let me get close to the audience and tease the hell out of them. So, okay, I'll do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pleasure to introduce our international dancing star, 
Renee DeCargo. And out of his many different routines tonight for this show, he's chosen to do something entirely different and unusual. Uh, ladies and 